I like when they give me free posters. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is directed by Kathy Yan and stars Margot Robbie returning as Harley Quinn, along with the newcomers, including but not limited to Journey Smollett-Bell, Ewan McGregor, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead. This time around, Harley Quinn and the Joker have broken up. Not long after they part ways, Harley gets in trouble with some dangerous people and must team up with other outcasts to take them down. The DCEU, the world's of DC, whatever you want to call it, got off to a rocky start a few years ago, but I think they've been in an upswing starting with Wonder Woman. And I think this movie is a continuation of that upswing. I was actually really surprised at how good this movie actually was. It was a lot of fun, really great gritty action, a lot of heart and comedy. It was just an all around fun time. So let's get right into it. What worked? First and foremost, performances. Harley Quinn played by Margot Robbie is one of those perfect superhero castings. This girl nails it. And you can also tell she's having so much fun with the role. She brings both the heart, but also the cartooniness to the character. It feels like she's kind of jumped out of Batman the Animated Series, which makes it so perfect. And seeing her deal with the world, especially now that everybody's basically after her because they realize that she's not under the protection of the Joker, makes it so much more interesting. She's very quirky, but you also see that she's very hurt and she's very damaged by not just what the Joker did, but her life before that, her upbringing. There's so many levels to her and you really get to see more of that in this movie. Along with her, there's also a lot of great female leads in this movie. This was a very strong cast. You have Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress. She was really great. And this is actually kind of different for her because here she was more of like an awkward but still badass woman. Journey Smollett Bell was really great as Diana Lance. And then there's Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya. Her character was really great too. I really sympathize with her too because you see her journey of being a police officer that's kind of looked down upon. People don't really take her seriously. They don't hear her out when she's trying to explain what's going on. And then seeing her turn to try and help Harley Quinn and stuff, I thought that was done really well. L.J. Basco was also great as Cassandra Cain, who was somewhat of a sidekick to Harley Quinn. Their relationship really brought a lot of the heart to the movie, and it was really nice to see Harley Quinn become sort of protective of this girl and really fight to keep her safe throughout the movie. And speaking of fighting, the action in this movie was insanely good. I will put this up there with John Wick and Deadpool. This was really good. There was a lot more fight choreography, a lot more hand-to-hand -hand combat. The characters were using items around them too, kind of like Jackie Chan. And it just made it feel so much more realistic and grounded. You could really see everything that was happening. They didn't chop up everything too much, so it was very smooth. They also used some speed ramping to really hype it up. You see a little bit of it in the trailer where they slow things down, but it didn't actually get too annoying that they did that. I actually enjoyed it. And it's just funny too, sometimes they integrate comedy into it so it adds another level of enjoyment. Since they were able to make this movie rated R, they are really able to go all out with the action. They did not hold back. They also didn't hold back with the comedy. This was very raunchy, again like Deadpool, but I think that also works for Harley Quinn because that is who she is. She doesn't hold back anything. She says what's on her mind. She makes a lot of weird jokes and she has a also dark sense of humor which you also get in this movie. They make some jokes out of moments that shouldn't be funny, but they are because of how it's being told to you, because this is a movie told from Harley Quinn's perspective, so it makes sense. Ewan McGregor did really well as Black Mask. I thought this was a very interesting, complex villain. On one hand, he's very menacing and brutal, but on the other hand, he's kind of entitled and sometimes childish. Like you see him whine about certain things and then all of a sudden it switches and he turns into like this violent person ready to get revenge on people who did him wrong. And that I think made him more of an interesting villain compared to the ones we've seen so far in the DCEU. He's definitely one of the top ones so far. In terms of story, I thought the way that everything connected worked really well. There is a bit of a MacGuffin to it, which didn't really bother me too much, but it did really help bring these characters together. And the way they come together, it felt so natural and organic, it did not feel forced. And I don't think they rushed it either. I think in terms of how long it took for these characters to come together, I thought they did that really well. Now, I think pacing-wise, they could have cut some time out of this movie. It felt a little longer than it actually was, but I was still engaged because of the performances of Margot Robbie, Ewan McGregor, Journey Smollett Bell. The characters and the action are what really drive this movie. Now, if you don't like the cartooniness of this movie, which I personally enjoyed, but I could see how some people might not, then you may not enjoy it as much. But I liked it. It made it seem a lot more hyper-realistic made the action funnier and more entertaining, made the characters more entertaining. I think it really helped build such a fun movie. So even if you're not a comic book fan, I think there's still a lot to enjoy. 
But if you are a comic book fan, then I think you will find a lot more to love about this movie. The Verdict. I think Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn is a great time. This was a very fun comic book movie. Really great female characters, really strong female characters. A great exploration of Harley Quinn as a character and what she has gone through after the Joker. And there's some really, really well done action scenes. Very visceral, very brutal, very animated, and so entertaining. So definitely recommend seeing this one in theaters. So do you plan on seeing Birds of Prey this weekend? If you're watching this after seeing the movie, what did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.